Hello and welcome to another Arms Day loadout. Hello again. Everyone's favorite gamer here, Zeus for your Omega, but we're all friends here. You could call me Zeus. Short, simple, and keep it to the point. Anyway, guess what? It's another beautiful Wednesday. And it's time to see what weapons, uh, our weapon orders, see what perks we got for them. I keep forgetting my lines. <laughs> Alright, first up we have the Zenaria D auto rifle. There we go. Adjusting my glasses. Let's see, first one up, we got the GA post sights with the LC range sights. Surrounded, focus fire, snapshot, fitted stock, and small bore. Small bore, not bad. Increased range of stability. But, hmm, how would it. Would this type of rifle actually work better with focus fire and surrounded? Hmm, try to listen to my gun until it'll see what it tells me. Alright, next up we got rank 2 with the SC Hollow Sights. Not bad. LC Watchdog. We got the Last Resort, Spray and Play, Snapshot, Hand Loaded, and Small Boar once again. Not bad. Small Boar is really making a comeback. Really love that on my Pulse Rifles. Spray and Play, Last Resort. GA post sites, LC watchdog, last resort, persistence. Ooh, persistence, last resort. Definitely gonna be a PBP. Persistence, snapshot, speed reload, rifle barrel. Anything to give it more stability other than persistence? Hmm. I don't see one of these fitting a niche. I kind of feel like not recommending none of them because none of them pair up really well with the perks they have. But if you're desperate, either rank one or two, or just pick one to break it down and for parts and stuff, but I don't recommend any of the Zenaria Ds. Yeah, that's Just cool. grabbing one to move on. Next up, we have the Gehirsch's D hand cannon. Hmm. Gehirsch's. Ah, God damn these names. <clears throat> All right, we got Quick Draw IS, Sure Shot IS. We got surrounded final rounds, always a plus on a hand cannon. Snapshot high caliber rounds, reinforced barrel. Ooh, but you take a, such a freaking blow to stability. But you got range, you got bonus damage on the last round, surrounded. And you gain more bonus damage when you got three or more enemies in close proximity. This could be a real lethal. Commendation or, or comment <sighs> you know the word I'm trying to say. Uh combination. There we go. If I get a little if I get excited or something like that, I, I can't talk straight. One's looking good. Let's see what two has. Quick draw IS, steady hands IS. We got hot swap, feeding frenzy, snapshot, high caliber rounds, and small bore. Small bore with feeding frenzy and hot swap. Hmm. They don't pair up pretty well. 
If you ever get something with increases your range of stability, it's always a plus or range or stability. But if you get them both together, and I know it will reduce the magazine from seven to six, or is it seven to five? Ah, gotta look at my notes again. All right, but that one doesn't seem like the the, uh, the perks pair up. True Sights, Steady Hand, Army of One, Feeding Frenzy, Speed Reload, Explosive Rounds, and Small Boar. Another one with Small Boar. Small Boar, Feeding Frenzy, Army of One. Get your grenades and melee cooldown quicker. Faster reload. Kills. Got Small Boar, increased range and stability. What did the first one have? This one had the bonus damage, last round bonus damage, and reinforced barrel. If it had, uh, what the other one had. Small bore, that would have been perfect. But it's a split decision between one and three. But if you're going to the PvP, definitely taking the rank 1. Just that bonus damage overall. You always get freaking swarmed. I always get stuck in 3 and 1 engagements in the Crucible. It's just freaking crazy. I recommend that one. Alright, what's next? Soros DSi 43 Scout Rifle. Not bad, not bad at all. We got the SLO-19, the SPL-26, aww. Oh, I always like the 28 sight better. SRO-37, alright, we got fitted stock with appendage magazine, luck in the chamber, snapshot, and small bore. Not bad. Small bore, luck in the chamber, fitted stock or appendage magazine. Let's see, rank 2. We got SLO 12 sites with SPO 28 sites. Those are real good. With a target acquisition. The SRO 41. Alright, this one comes with Perfect Balance or Appendage Magazine. Rodeo, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. Not quite there. Ooh, that one looked like it had Outlaw. SLO 12 with the SPL 26, SRO 41. We got high caliber rounds, feather mag, outlaw, snapshot, or injection mold. Not bad. But I really like the perks on the first one with the look in the chain of small boar. <coughs> Plus, you get a little bit extra boost from fitted stock. Highly recommend uh, rank one for the Searles DSI. See how it's careful out there. Let's do a quick swap to the Warlock for the other two weapons. <sighs> Try to keep a hiccup. Contain. Why is my stream always lagging? Oh, by the way, if people don't know, it's Iron Banner Week. Just started yesterday. And I believe after the last two weapon reviews, we'll go check out what Lord Celadin has for gear and stuff.
I believe the last two weapons were Amalon design. Ah, uh, we got the... Oh uh, my god, how do you pronounce this one again? Kumatak... Kumatak Tok... Kumatak Tok... HC4 hand cannon. Yeah, they all have luck in the chamber. Talk about a good roll. Let's see what's the difference between them. Alright, we got fast draw IS, steady hands, true sights. We got luck in the chamber, quick draw, reinforced barrel. Okay, there's a range boost. Life support and underdog. Not bad. Rank 2. Fast draw with quick draw and short shot. Once again, we got luck in the chamber. Single point sling, brace frame. There's a stability bonus. Icarus and underdog. Hmm. Right, so far, underdog and luck in the chamber have been repeating. Let's see. Got fast draw, quick draw, and sure shot. We got luck in the chamber, single point sling or rifle barrel. Nice, we got the range boost. Life support and once again underdog. Weapon gains a boost to range and handling when health is low. <coughs> Not bad. Actually, I think this one, luck and chamber, rifle and barrel. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I think this is a good pair up with underdog, rifle, barrel, and luck in the chamber. You don't lose stability, you gain a major boost in range. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend rank 3. Alright, we got the Arene RR4. Check out the stats. We got the Condor sights and the Falcon sights. Grenader, snapshot, reinforced barrel, battle runner, last resort. Not bad. Let's see. Condor and Aquilus sights. Alright, we got Grenader, snapshot with injection mold, unflinching, and underdog. And we got the Condor with uh, Falcon Signs again. We got Luck in the Chamber. Ooh, that's nice. Snapshot with Hand Laid Stock. Bonus Random Damage. Bonus Stability. Battle Runner and Last Resort. This would be great for PvP, Crucible. Battle Runner. Actually, these two actually would complement each other. Either battle if you have Battle Runner on with the rest of these, gets a point of point snipe and snipe. This one, especially when you're going three on three, the hand lay look in the chamber and get that lucky one shot kill out of a res up. Be freaking nice to see. Yeah, this one has a lot of potential. So he's mowing like this when you just think for a second and you can just see it all... All the gears grinding right now. <laughs> when you know when I'm short on words and looking at a gun and the perks, you know that's the one I definitely got to be recommending. The rank 3 one, the Irene RR4. Pretty nice. All right, we got an uh, auto rifle to use against the Cabal. Nice. We got an auto rifle to use against the Fallen. Uh, we got to use a freaking uh, fusion rifle in the Crucible. And we got a sniper to use against Cabal Saturians. And a Fallen Captain Sniper. That's pretty nice. Fallen. Fallen. Cabal. Cabal. We got four test weapons for PvE and one to use in the Crucible. Not bad. 
Let's take a quick look at the orders for next week. We got the Artemis D auto rifle from Hake. Oh yeah, we got the Searles PDX 45. We got the Searles JBL 47 rocket. 45 47. Okay. We got the Jin Jingoku D shotgun. And once again, we got the Irene RR4 sniper rifle. Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't take the rank 3 one, you get a chance next week. Alright, like I said, it's Iron Banner week. Let's do the special edition version of the Arms Day loadout. And let's check out what weapons and armors he's giving out for every class. Show your might. I think I forgot to pick up my bounties for this character. Uh, apparently he's giving out the chest armor and helmets. Those are across the some board. Ours. What we're here is ooh. I forgot to pronounce this. Uh, Diodris retort. Oh, we got the crucible shotgun here. Let's see what the perks. We got smooth ballistic, accurate ballistics, aggressive ballistics. Not bad. Full auto. <laughs> That's gonna be a plus. Lightweight, rifle barrel, small bore. Alright, alright. Full auto, small bore, and replenish. Hell, I just may pick it up just because it has small bore and full auto. Oh, those fun times. This one reminds me so much of Fell Winter Snipes. And I had one of those with full auto. Oh, those were good times. All right, let's check out the what was it, Finale's Pearl, Finala. All right, we got. Hold up, does it have the perks that I'm thinking it has? All right, all right let's check out the sights. All right, Steady Hand, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Outlaw, Hand Loaded, Small Bore, Rifle Barrel. And reactive reload. It does have the badass combo. One of my favorites. The reactive reload with Outlaw. Oh, this is this is a definitely must grab. I'm gonna be granting hard today in Iron Banner. Outlaw, small bore, reactive reload. Just reactive reload and outlaw on any gun makes it freaking awesome. Especially when we had it on pulse rifles. Well, that concludes this um, this week's Arm Day loadout, Iron Banner edition. Catch you guys in the Crucible. See you next week.